And so you started Mamma Mia from your house? Yeah, I did. In my own time, got the website developed. Right. You know, I paid a designer. Zoe Foster was the only other person I knew with a blog, so I found out who designed hers. Yeah, right. I paid him a grand or something to design me. You know, I got an out-of-the-box template. He's, you know, smicked it up a little bit so it looked a bit special. And I registered mm. um because I loved the ABBA song and because that's what I used to get teased about when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just started it. I didn't know yeah. what I wanted it to be, but I just thought I'm just going to write about what's interesting to me. Um, and which that's is a whole literally bunch of stuff. how it started. And that's literally how it started. I knew, I didn't know what it was, but I knew what it wasn't. I knew it wasn't just a personal blog. I, I knew I didn't just want to write about my kids and yeah. I didn't want to do a mummy blog, didn't want to do a fashion blog, didn't just want to do a news blog. I didn't want to do like a lifestyle magazine yeah. thing. I just wanted to write about the stuff I was interested in. And, and I was confident that because of my time in mags, that I had a bit of a radar for what other people were interested yeah. in too and, and my column. And um, so I started and it started really slowly and I made no money for three years. I lost money probably. In, in fact, I did years. lose money because I had no, no income from it for three years. And because you did start when blogging really wasn't around. No one yeah. knew what even the word blog was, including me. And yeah. I was having to learn all of that, you know, coding. and Because it was just me. So I was resizing every picture, sourcing every image, writing every story. And it had been a long time since I'd got my hands dirty like that. Yeah. You know, I'd had an assistant, I'd had a car spot, I'd had a marketing department and I'd worked, you know, my whole career I'd worked in a big, big company. Yeah. Business cards and, you know, and suddenly all of that was cut Shit, off. And that's a big change. It was a big change. It was a really big change. And I was lost for a little while after I left Nine, not because of the lurks and perks being gone because I've never been very interested in those, but just because of the identity. It's yes. Like, who yeah. are you? What do you do? And yeah. and so it took a long time to and even when you get over that, those forms, yeah, on, you know what aeroplanes on when yeah. you go in the plane. What do you say? On I, I say mother now. Do and you? when I was first a mum, I was real because I lost my job when I mm. fell pregnant with Vax, and then I didn't. I remember I was getting on a plane the day I lost my job, and I said to Sam, "What do I feel out now? Like, what am I? Who am I?" And I, it took me a while to just really confidently write. Mother, and because yeah, I, I do a right. heap of different things, but I'm like I don't need to That's say really any of that. That's really interesting, and yeah. it's really liberating now. Writing mother that shows a real sense of of security and, and knowing who you are. Yeah. And it's funny at, at, at my fortieth, um, Paula Joy, my best friend, said um, she gave the speech and and said, you know, I'm all these things, but if I ask if if you ask me what I was, I'd say writer. Mm. And it's true in everything that I do, and that's another reason why TV wasn't for me. I, I like you the written word. Right, yeah. That's what I love the most.